This video is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Hello everybody, welcome back to another Farming Simulator 22 Map First Impressions video. Today we're going to take a look at Modern Sare Busta. That sounds a little bit like a dirty word. So we're just going to call this map Modern Sare from this point forward. But before that, this video is brought to you by Gizmo UK and Doughboy2913. Thank you for being Farm Barons. So the modern Sorry map can be found over the FarmingSimulator.com website or the in-game downloadable content menu. And as of the 1.0 release, this map is available for all platforms. Let me read you some of the description. Welcome to the modern Sorry map, which is located in Hungary in the southern part of Bariana County. I know I butchered that. That's okay. Sorry lived its heyday in the 1970s and 80s. The mere workers were carried out by the works were carried out by the workers living there. Counterbreeding and cultivation of the surrounding fields were the main work. This map includes 13 farm fields, 13 fields that can be found from 0.7 to 17 hectares in size, two meadows, two cow barns, lime seed and fertilizer purchase point at the farm. We also have five points of sale. And the map author says this map is suitable for multiplayer. Now this map does have six required mods. Those required mods consist of food mixers, lizard water tower, placeable refillable tanks, selling stations, silo living, and uncle's cow barn. In addition to those required mods, we are gonna be using the mods we typically use when take a look at maps, which is additional field info, additional game settings, animal food overview, field lease, field calculator, precision farming, and the straw harvest pack. Now, I will tell you, if you load this map up in farm manager mode or start from scratch, you will find that you do not have any starting machinery in the alternate game modes, nor do you own the land. In addition, there are some buildings and other aspects of the main farm which are missing as compared to new farm mode here. And when we get around to the farm tour, I will point those out. Now, I did also load this map up in a low end system, and I have to say performance was absolutely outstanding. If your system will run farm sim, then it should run this map without any issues whatsoever. Let's go ahead and take a look at the PDA. Now, one of the first things you're going to notice on this map is the fact that this is a smaller than standard size map. In fact, the exact play area is probably what I would say maybe a th between a quarter and a third the size of a standard map. We do have all the standard crops available to us in Farm Sim 22 on this map, including red beet, carrot, and parsnip if you do activate the premium expansion. We go ahead and take a look at our lands overview. We start out by owning farmland ID 14, which is the main starting farm, as well as the animal areas right here to the north of that, as well as field nine and farmland ID nine, which can be bought for $89,000. Farmland ID 14 can be bought for $50,528 in any alternate game mode. Let's go take a look at our farmland lease screen. This is going to show us all of the viable farmlands, how large those farmlands are, if those farmlands include any field or fields, what is included, then lastly, how much is that farmland going to cost us? We can then go and cross-reference that with our field calculator screen. This is going to show us the specific sizes of each particular field. And as we see, we have fields ranging from 0.57 hectares in size with field eight, all the way up to fields that are 18.99 hectares. Or sorry, field one is 19.73. Let's go and take a look at our soil map. We are making use of the generic soil map that is available to us with the precision farming mod. So let's go ahead and see how that is being applied to these fields. Now our starting field, which is field nine, is gonna be a mix of loam, sandy loam, and silty clay. We've got some pretty good fields to the north with respect to field four and field 10 that are gonna be a combination of either sandy loam, loam, and loam, or just sandy loam and loamy sand. Now we take a look at our crop counter. We do have the standard crop counter that is available to us in the game on this map. And if we look down through our prices screen, you will see we do indeed have the ability to sell all of the base game crops that are available to us in FS22. In addition to having the ability to sell our eggs, wool, and milk, as well as our silage, hay, straw, and grass. 
as we continue further down through all of the base game productions, we once again do indeed have the ability to sell all of the base game productions also on this map, which is always a good thing to see. We do have the ability to buy ball climb at two locations, as well as we do not have the ability to sell stones. If you do want to play with stones enabled, you will need to find some place to put down a sell point for those stones. With respect to the Platinum Expansion production, we do not have the ability to sell any other Platinum Expansion production items without putting our own sell point down. Although the story is different with the Premium Expansion, we do indeed have the ability to sell those things as well as the Premium Expansion crops. If you are playing with pumps and hoses, that does allow, this map does allow the selling of separated manure. And if you have straw harvest add-on, you can sell your pellets with respect to the hay and straw pellets at three particular sell points. We start out with a fairly small list of starting machinery. It's all owned, none of it is leased. We do have two cow barn areas at the main starting farm at the start, but no cows in them. We do have contracts available on this map. We also own the only production that is on this map in the forage mixer. And this map does not have any collectibles. Let's go and take a look at our starting fleet. We start out with the John Deere 6110M small tractor, as well as the 7810 medium tractor and the John Deere T560 harvester. The harvester is then paired up the 625X grain header, and we also have the Nardi N40BX header trailer. We have the Rudolph DK280RL trailer. We have the Agrimaz POV5XL plow, as well as the Cinto 4000 super cultivator. And then we have the KG3001 Super Power Hero, which is typically paired up with the Sintya 3000 Super Cedar. And that is pretty much our starting fleet. If you take a look at our mods and DLCs, you will see that this map does not have any custom vehicles or implements. Now, as far as our farm tour goes and what is and is not visible on the alternate game modes, a farm manager and start from scratch. Our farmhouse here, which is the silo, it is pre-placed on all game modes, as well as the buy point here, which is for lime, seed, and fertilizer. We also have another lime buy point located right here. And then we have the easy shed. The shed is not present in all game modes, nor is the lime silo. But the seeds, they are. We have our header trailer over here, as well as our header plow and such. Our silo is located right here. The silo is not present in those alternate play modes. You will find that we do have barrels and containers kind of scattered around the farm area. They're not overly in overly conspicuous locations. So the fact that we cannot sell those, I don't think is going to overly impact our ability with respect to farm customization now both of these buildings are identical so we have our milk trigger here inside we have our food and straw trigger and then you will see right over here we have a trigger for our animal delivery you're gonna have to come into this door in order to then activate that and we have 70 cows in each building now, I did take a look at the trigger for this, and I do not believe that we are going to be able to actually deliver animals to this facility because I've not been able to actually activate that trigger unless I am actually standing right here at this location. So this is not going to be a good animal pin if you like to deliver your animals or pick them up and take them off to, uh, to market. This building is going to be identical to the other. We're going to have our slurry trigger here on the other side. We do have a manure heap located here for both of those. We have a water tower. And then our forage mixer is also going to be located over here. So we have our interactive icon. We have our dump point and our fill trigger for that. Taking a look, we have silage chain straw to make our TMR. And that is pretty much the main starting farm. There is not a whole lot really going on here. 
Now, as far as what can we sell here at the starting farm, we can sell the silos, we can sell the water tower, we can sell the manure heap, the cow barns, the TMR mixer, the farmhouse, the easy shed. We can sell both the seed fertilizer and lime fill point as well as the lime silo there. But the decorative elements that are kind of scattered around, they are permanently a part of the map. In addition to the wall that encompasses the farm, I kind of wish we could sell the wall, but it is a part of the map. But overall, I don't think you're going to be overly impacted by, again, these barrels, these light towers, or the wall, if you do wish to do any sort of customization. Now, to the north, we have our animal dealer, which is, is interesting because I don't think you can actually deliver animals to that cow barn. But if you happen to put down some other cow buildings or other animal areas, then of course you can use this to deliver or pick up your animals. Let's make our way back into town. And this is going to show you here, we do have some areas where we have some pretty, pretty significant changes to the fields. And... Hopefully you won't run into issues with your field work. But we've got some pretty pronounced changes in elevation here on these fields. I would maybe have I wanted to see this smoothed out a little bit more. Do note that if this map is updated with some smoothing done to the fields, a new game save will be required. Just to the east of the starting farm, we have our dealer trigger. And let's go ahead and pick up our Mahindra just so we can see where things are going to spawn. We've got a pretty big area here for things to spawn in at. A decent sized gate also for our machinery to leave. Then our dealer locator, our dealer location is going to be right here as far as our maintenance. Now we do not have markers, but I will tell you that is basically this area that I am directly looking at now. This may look like a buildable zone, but it is, it is a gravel or concrete football field, soccer field, if you will. And then the rest of the cell points are to the south. Now let's talk quickly about our scoring metric. As far as production being built in or areas set aside for such, we are going to give the map a full point because we do have one production set in. There is no minimum requirement as to the number of productions that need to be built in. We have one cell point located here. We have another cell point located here at the extreme southern edge of the map. We have a farmer's market style cell point located here. Then we have one more cell point located at this building right there and that is pretty much the entirety of the map let's continue to talk about our scoring system with respect to the ability to sell all of our base game crops animal outputs and production points we are going to be giving the map another full point there as well here we have another couple examples of kind of these terrain elevation changes it's a little bit more pronounced than just rolling hills along the fields i feel with respect to can the farms be customizable, we are giving the map a full point, even though we do have permanent fences or permanent wall in place, as well as permanent light towers and those barrels. We've got some more terrain elevation changes. I just feel that maybe this map might get an update to smooth some of these out because I feel like players may, may experience some difficulty in doing some field work with those elevation changes. With respect to buildings where appropriate are using the new texturing technique as well as ground textures. We're going to be giving the map just a half a point here because a lot of these farmhouses or a lot of these houses along the street and at these cell points, they are using fairly low resolution textures. They kind of pass the 100 yard test where the building looks pretty darn good at, at let's say 100 yards. But when you get up close and personal, well, she gets a little blocky. And then you can really pronouncedly see this when we look here at the 
where the more modern textures meet the older textures at the building's edge. With respect to ground textures, we have our standard base game FS22 ground textures and plants. And then with respect to trigger and interactive areas being clearly marked, we're gonna be taking off a quarter of a point because of the lack of markers here at the dealer trigger. So that's gonna end up with this map having a score of 4.25 out of five. Still a fairly respectable score, nonetheless. I would love to hear what you all think down in the comments below with respect to modern sorry and the score itself. And until next time, happy farming.